It's 6 a.m. at Casa de, de, de Young over here. The guy is over here making us pancakes because we're what? Dedicated to breakfast. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. Wake up calls for breakfast after well, we got to bed at like midnight last night. So yeah. Rolled in at 11 30, in the sack by midnight. And nobody died in our first night truck camper. Yes, so <laughs> we got a big day ahead of us today. It runs 16, 17 miles. So looking forward to it. And it's snowing right now. Yeah, it's snowing in August in, New in Wyoming. Is it August? Wow. Shane's pretty hyped. Guys, you know what I'm so high on right now? <laughs> Adventure. And, and truck campers. Try and truck campers. <laughs> and friendship. So. We'll have a really good before and after, hopefully. So you can't see. Let's see, they, they're, just imagine mountains just all up in there. <laughs> imagine being stoked. <laughs> We're stoked anyway, so we don't have to imagine it. <laughs> check in here we have just hit a place where everything is just too cool i don't know how to describe it uh the winds the winds are really not that great no one should come here yeah like i mean look at this like no one should ever come here Just say we just got to base camp 17.7 miles and a lot of calories, so we're gonna eat a whole bunch. And look at our little campsite. Let's go. Winds are sick. Winds are sick. That's the blue sky. We One last video check-in. It's what time is it, Eric? It's 7:30. 7:30. We have a alpine start of shooting. Get up at 3 a.m. and we're just about to send it. Um, looking forward to it. And the view outside is amazing. Let's see this. So. Is 3.08 a.m. We are working on some coffee here and we're about to do a summer push. So it was really cool last night. Everything, not cloud in the sky, but apparently might be a little cloudy to start today. So fingers crossed, clears out as we go. But yeah, we're gonna get moving here soon. Yeah.
But there's Gannett, <laughs> top right there, snow capped. So she's looking mighty fine this morning. <laughs> she is. here but we beat the storm headed back down this morning started super early zero visibility but we had our window we nailed it success is when proper preparation meets opportunity and this is what you're looking at we and, love it and we all prep like boy scouts today <laughs> <laughs> let's go boom and boom Time to descend. Peace out, Gannett. You were sweet. Always gotta protect your friends. Ice axe, I'm protecting Shane. Shane is protecting Eric, and Eric is setting the ice screw anchor. So, we're about a mile from where, from after the summit, which is a complete whiteout up there, so we got out at the right time, so. Remember, the key to be looking like a pro mountaineer is your rope skills. So if your ropes look like crap, you're gonna be a crap mountaineer. <laughs> I haven't done checking in a little bit. We're it's 240 right now. We are just almost at the top of Bonnie Pass or Boney Pass as we've been calling it. Oh, uh, she's real bony. <laughs> she is. Uh, lots of loose rock, um, boulder hopping, a lot of fun stuff. But uh, with spiky boys. but with spiky boys, still got the still got those guys on. Eric doesn't. He decided to not use them. I partially regret it. But I never slipped, so there you go. Yeah, we were all the way up there in that cloud, and now you can't see it. That was the top of Gannett. So, and we crossed all the way down over there, there, then came up this whole glacier field, and then just booted it straight up here. We got absolutely pounded up there. <laughs>
And we made it. Quick, fist bump before my battery dies. Ooh. Go. And, uh, and uh, boom. Success. Well, we got a frozen rope, a frozen chain, a frozen Eric. Burr. Burr. Packed up, ready to go. It's what, like almost five? It is. 518. 518 and we have 18 miles to the car. Let's go. <laughs> because I'm now unbonked. Got some some uh, electrolyte beverage here, uh, rejuvenation. But Gannett was epic. Um, 50 miles, the longest backpacking, hiking trip ever done by myself. Um, super hard to get to, probably the most remote I've ever felt in the wilderness or anywhere. Um, the Wind Rivers are crazy. Kind of didn't even feel like I was on earth, <laughs> but yeah, super hard to get to, super rewarding, super remote. And I did it all with sopping wet Merrill Moabs, live to tell a tale and crazy weather. <laughs> These got me through the last 16, what was it, 18 miles of the trip. If you can't tell, those are his, that's his shoe. And they don't smell good either. <laughs> there we go. As you just saw, that was Gannon Peak, Wyoming's tallest high point. Um, man, that was all the fun I wanted to expect. You got to go on a glacier, you got to use all the pointy things. You got to rope up, you got to use my ice screws besides ice climbing, which was kind of sick. And we even got a peek in in our little window we had, and then we got absolutely pounded after that. So I guess we got what we deserve, but we're back and it was a great time. Let's go. <laughs>